you guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a new i'm annie and welcome to my channel if you are already a subscriber thank you for coming back if you are new please subscribe down below i would really love it and appreciate it um but today's video i am doing five different hairstyles that you can wear with baseball hats now they're probably like some of them are like okay annie everybody wears a ponytail with their baseball hat but i have like a few tricks that help me achieve it a little bit different or just like hold it better in general so if you are a hat lover or if you haven't washed your hair in five days maybe it's time for you to watch this video so let's just get on into it okay so for this first hairstyle it's gonna be a super simple ponytail but my recommendation is to use one of these little invisible bubbles um, it's just, I feel like it holds your hair better and also kind of fans it out a little bit more. So make sure that you have one of these. And then what I do is I make sure that I know where the little hole thing is for the ponytail. And then like pull it apart so that it's like super fanny. Um, fanny. Um, and then you put it through first. And then you want to make it look fuller. So I always kind of back comb it if it doesn't have any texture. Like my hair is just straight. So I back comb it a little bit more. And if you want it to stick out more, what you do is you take a bobby pin and you flip up the section of hair and then you literally will stick the bobby pin right in the center of the ponytail. So I'm gonna try to show you. Here. And then it helps it, I don't know how it does it, but it just helps it. I think it, cause it helps it like spread out more. So it's just kind of like a more, whatever. So there you have it, a more like messy, perky um, ponytail, so. Okay, so for the second hairstyle, we are going to do a bun, but you're gonna use your bobble once again. And how I do it is I like to put my hat on first and then gather a bun on the bottom. Now, since my hair is short, I can't really do like a cool bun, but I feel like either messy buns or a tight ballerina bun look the best. And when I say like tight ballerina bun, it like still messy, but like, work it around instead of like folding type of things so I personally like my hair parted on the side when I'm doing a bun so I'm gonna stick it on and just kind of like where my hair falls naturally that's where I'm going to like leave it and then I'm gonna gather it at the bottom like this I mean it's a bun like whatever you know and then it's just in like a little bun. Sometimes throughout the day it pops out, but it's just, it's kind of whatever. And then I just kind of pull some hairs out. Now, I don't like when my ears stick out above the hat, so that's why I kind of do this more so, so I don't have like little elf ears sticking out. But a basic bun, and if it's, I know some people like to stick it through here, like I've seen where people do like a ponytail and then they do a messy bun around it. I can't do that because when I had longer hair, I would have to readjust my baseball cap and then your bun is like stuck on there. So I wouldn't really recommend that, but I mean, you can do whatever you want. So this is the bun. I have some shorter layers, so of course things are gonna pop out, but that's just a little, little tip. hairstyle um, what we're gonna do is do little like space buns down here um, so start by splitting your hair down the middle okay 
So now we have that. Take a little clear hair elastic, or if you have darker hair, use black ones. It's whatever you want. And then make sure you pull hair out that you want before you start doing everything. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is twist away from your face and then coil it up and then secure it like so. Don't worry about that. You got bobby pins, you can fix it later. So now we're gonna move to the other side. And something to note, when you're doing like this kind of thing, like buns, they're usually not gonna match. So don't try to make them perfect or if you're too much of a perfectionist to make like if you're gonna try this 50 times just maybe don't do buns you know because they're just not gonna look the same but you're going to twist away from your face okay coil it up take your rubber band and I always find that there's one side that is just so hard for me to do okay so as you can tell they're a little bit different but that's why God invented bobby pins or the hair people invented bobby pins okay so we are back and we are pinned so then this is the second hairstyle it's more like Princess Leia if you have them up here if you want to you could put them down a little bit lower but I like them this size so this size this way so okay so the fourth hairstyle that we're gonna do is the typical like braid but instead of a three strand braid we are going to do a fishtail braid now my hair is a little too short to do this so I'm gonna leave some pictures of what it should look like if you have longer hair split your hair down the middle if you don't know how to do a fishtail braid stay tuned because it's actually really easy okay so for a fishtail braid all you do is you split it in half okay and so this will be section one this is section two so from section two take a back section and then cross it under to section one and that's your first stitch okay then from section two cross the front give it to section one second stitch okay so what you want to do is it kind of if you want it super intricate you need to take smaller sections and it will kind of not take a long time but it can take a while but if you don't care so then take a section from the back I twist to like transfer it people's fingerings are different but practice makes not perfect but progress you know all right so this is all the length that I can really do so we're gonna tie it off and we are going to loosen the braid so that it's not so like sticky outy okay now do the other side okay so now you look like a little schoolgirl. just pop your hat on and there you go I think that these braids I mean if you do it right and you have longer hair they just look more polished than they look more sophisticated than just like schoolgirl ones now if you wear them in pigtails you kind of do look like I look like Pippi Longstocking because they also kind of stick out but if you have longer hair it looks really good also another way that you can do this is like the bubble um bubble braids i think that's what it's called um okay and the last one is obviously like wearing your hair down i have mixed feelings about this so you can wear your hair straight if it's full enough if it's stringy and like first day hair where it's too shiny it's not gonna look good 
it needs to have body and it needs to have volume to it whether that's like you naturally have thick hair or you tease it a little bit or you give it a slight bend you sleep in braids the night before you wake up and it's a little crumpy it needs some texture or fullness some body to it just not pin straight all the way down um messy waves work i'll leave my messy wave hair tutorial i have two one for short hair one for long hair that i'll leave down below or if you have a waver like this pop it through um i actually usually i hate my hair straight but i'm actually not hating it today because it's kind of like full and has some life to it so that one's super basic but i also think that it's important for you to split your hair down the middle and not hat so like my hair is down the middle if i were to split it down the side no that is not a look do not do that please don't do that don't just leave it like this and push your hair hat on once again no no you want it to look intentional so that's why you want to put your hair you want to try to make it look okay and then you pop your hat on all right guys so those are my five hairstyles that you can wear with hats there's definitely way more than just these five obviously um but these are the five that i wear that i like that i actually do now the pigtail one the braided pigtail one i don't really wear as much right now because my hair is short but when my hair is longer i like to do that or mix it up with fun pigtails so i hope that you guys found this interesting helpful and if there's any other hairstyles that you want me to do let me know and i'd be happy to do them and i'll talk to you later bye